Welcome. Jeez. I'm just a bit little overworked. No need to make a deal big deal about it. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way to visit me. Ugh, how can I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? There you are. What's going on, Miss Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but no one answered. What? takase san you contacted the school? Well, you weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you finally answered, it was a nurse who told us you weren't here, that you were here. It's really an inconvenience for us when you miss a payment, you know. No, no, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we'll need you to transfer the money. I I'm sorry. These are Takase Kun's guardians, the one I, the ones I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He he came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? And after all you did to him, I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Crime button. Stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taiki, died because of his woman. Of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Uh, That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place, and she still continues to teach. We're gonna need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and undeniable way. I understand. I will pay you. So... It's not like we're go trying to extort you. I mean, you're literally what you're, that's what you're doing, but okay. But who was it that convinced Taiki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs overwhelmed him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taiki. It's almost like he was murdered. So you, so you no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your deeds as a teacher would be over. Well, we're looking forward to receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring to our stu sister company is the only way. No, no, think this through more. <laughs> I 
can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do whatever Master tells me to do. Meow. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So if his parents demand money, then I should have to pay them. Isn't there another way? Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100% yet, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. You made me really happy. All right. Keep calm. I'll be released first thing tomorrow morning, so don't worry. The IVs here work really well. <laughs> Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Humid. I wish the rainy season would come would end soon. By the way, June's almost over. You defeated Kanashiro so you can rest easy for a while, I guess. So what do you want to do today? Maybe something like a trip to Mementos? Hmm. I mean, breaks are important, but we have those requests on the message board, so don't forget to answer them. Whatever. You will only do it at the last possible second. <laughs> okay. The air is so muggy. This is about my new piece, Desire. It was selected for the public exhibition. It's already on display there now. If it is alright with you, could we go see it together? Thank you. This will all actually be my first time going as well. I will send you the location of the art museum now. Indeed. In addition to the exhibition aspect of this show, there is also an evaluation portion. Hmm. I believe my piece truly stands out among the sea of art here, and yet nobody has come to see it. Perhaps they are so afraid of the truth held within that they dare not take a closer look. What is this supposed to be? There is a dark, almost sinister aura emanating from it. Hmm, the title is Desire? I see no desire here. Ah, I understand now. This area is for students. The artist likely decided to paint this on a whim. Indeed, this, there is neither elegance nor motion in this piece. Come on, dear. There are much more detailed paintings over there. <sighs> there is no need to worry. Uh, I am not bothered in the slightest. That was nothing more than the drivel of unrefined commoners. I didn't I needn't pay any mind to them. As long as those who are in the know understand my work, I will be happy. This is hmm. Oh, look, a knowledgeable patron has arrived. Hmm. I would like your opinion, sir. What are your thoughts on this piece? I can see quite clearly why it was accepted into the exhibition. The technique is excellent. However, the composition as a whole is mediocre at best. What did you say? How dare you? Ah, are you the artist? The title is listed as Desire, but that idea is quite overused. Some may even call it stale. If you want to paint an abstract work with such an old theme, you must inject some 
individuality into it. What? Take another look. Try to remove yourself from the artist's bias. The, these brush strokes are splendid, given your age, but does this painting really tell you anything? It is empty, devoid of meaning. I suggest you have to take a more crucial eye to your work in the future if you tra truly want to pro progress as an artist. Critical eye. That one. My work is empty. I'll let it bother you. Indeed. Why? But why? I put my uh, heart and soul into this piece. Captured the very essence of desire. It was supposed to lay bare the reality of the world. Perhaps, perhaps he was right. It may be empty after all. These colors, these brush strokes, they do not convey the true meaning of desire, n only my conception of it. I haven't captured desire. Desire has captured me. How could this be? How could I have fooled myself into believing otherwise? It is as though I have been forsaken by the gods of art. This grave mistake shall be the end of me. Um, this is just the beginning. Do not patronize me. I have no future in this field. What is going to happen to me now without art? What will remain of my being? This isn't like you. Reggie. Agreed. You are correct. Uh, surrendering myself to fail after only one failure would be very much unlike me. Hello, Leroy. Oh my goodness. He's just arcing his head off for no reason. Cool. Still, being criticized by someone with such a keen eye is truly painful. Okay. And that is all the more reason I must break out of my slump. I must prove my ability to him. That's the spirit. I will start by painting. After that, I will paint, beyond which I shall paint even more. That is the only way I will learn to capture the essence of emotion. After all, you can only accomplish so much in using logic to analyze the contents of the heart. I hope you allow me to continue my skill card services as well, Reginald. I shall conquer this. Let us return home. A slump, hmm? Reginald, I apologize for causing a scene earlier. That one gentleman's critique made me fully realize that I've been lacking, and my path is clear. I will simply keep on drawing. I'm going to have ten pieces finished up by end of today. That's that's the spirit. Woo. Huh. If anything, I should be doing more. I'll be doing anything to escape this lump. With your with your support, I was able to pick myself up rather quickly today. I hope this doesn't discourage you from joining me again. I will get past this. Sorry for me taking up so much of your time. We'll meet again soon. Jesus, what is going on out there? The Leroy's just yapping his head off. Ah, uh, you're back. Hey! Hey, hey!
Sorry about that. Take a seat. Hello. Hello there. This is your first time here, yes? It's not often that I get young men stopping by my stand. Anyway, my name is Jia Mifume. Mifune? Jiaha. Chi chi haya. Chi haya. Haya. Mifune. I don't know. Mifune. I will be reading your fortune today. Um, you can begin by telling me your name. Ah, Renoi Crime Boy San. I see. Your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? Full package, baby. Very well. I, I suppose the life of a high schooler is different, after all. Now then. Let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your fate. Here we go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune! The first card is... Hmm, let's see. As for the second... Oh! Next is... Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. A stream of light obscuring the sun. Like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. I see. There seems to be a new wealth in your future. Your financial fortune is looking good today. The wealth of which I speak with will come from your house. Head home without detour, and precisely five pre, and precisely five thousand yen will wait await you there. Are you sure? Yes. I can only speak of what I saw. Fate is absolute. Um. What is this? How strange, Crime Boy Son. The general flow of your future seems to indicate ruin? And an inmate locked away in a lonely cell. You seem to be a good person, Crime Boy Son, but are you perhaps mixed up with the wrong crowd? Mm. Beyond that, my. It seems. Continuing on your current path will lead to your death. Uh, don't be ridiculous. You act confident, but remember, fate is absolute. That's impossible. If the divine, if the divination is coming to me this early, the truth of it is simply undeniable. Although. Now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With its power in your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. So what do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen. Not bad for an item that, you can, that can change your very future, yes. Seems suspicious. It's legitimate, I promise. So, you really don't want it? Is that so? What a shame. It will be to see the flames of youth snuffed out too soon. Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I really can help you if you'd like. Ah, you're back. Ah, you're home. I've been waiting for you. Oh! Chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Reginald. 
How's your pocket money situation we've been looking for? <laughs> You're hopeless. Fine. Here. For real? What? Is this 5,000 yen? I won some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing my winnings. Thanks. <laughs> See? I can be nice sometimes. The rest is on you. Make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey! Hey, so does that mean that fortune teller was right? This is kind of scary. That's incredible. She even put the amount spot on. Maybe that Shihaya lady can seriously read into the future. Wait, is that bad? Didn't she say you're gonna die? Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. Maybe I can have her read my compatibility f fortune with. No. Um, never mind. Take your time. Oh no, it's uh it's a Welcome. to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. A and I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. 
Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Way to go, advisor. Advisor? <laughs> all right. My first step will be to learn more about the other students, but I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. It's not true. Really? I hope you're right, but I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? Uh-huh. No. Uh, karaoke. Karaoke, hmm? My friends have taken me there a few times. If possible, I'd like to go somewhere I'm a little less familiar with. How about an arcade? I've never actually been to one. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Yeah, it'll be a field trip. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. Want to try it? If it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I did! <gasps> no way! Ah! Wow, play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice. It. Oh, so this is how it is. You're a real gamer. You a gamer girl? Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. You're so sharp. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit. I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. Really stood out. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I get it. All right. By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, n not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, 
I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time with for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today, and it's even been a little fun. Red Light District next? <laughs> Thanks. I feel a lot better with you helping me through this. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. Alright then. feel like the antique feel and I actually really like the antique feel of this room but I have to say goodbye to you today um. the thing is I've decided to quit my boss found me a part-time job that pays better than this one Takase Kun's guardians keep increasing their demands so this is just what I have to do Is this really what you want? What I want? Takase Kun's guardians say the only true way to apologize to Takase Kun is by paying them. If that's not true, then what's the right thing to do here? I wonder if I can escape all this if I quit being a teacher. People like me have no right being a teacher. If I quit on my own, I won't have to pay them. That's why I'm going to quit both my teaching job and my maid job. What do you think? If that's what you decided. That's what I decided. But did I really decide it on my own? Now that I think about it, it's too late for me to stop being a teacher. If I really felt bad for what happened, I would have resigned the way he died. Des resigned the day he died. And yet, I still feel the need to teach. I wonder why I feel that way even now. That's your answer. Crime Blackout. Oh, that's right. I decided to, the way to apologize to him was to make sure there won't ever be another student like him. Because I might have been able to save him if I hadn't been afraid of rumors or labels back then. I wanted to become a teacher who takes care of her students. That's the mindset I had. But now, I spend all my free time at part-time jobs just so I can continue working as a teacher. Put the critical work of a teacher on the back burner so I could make apology money. That's where it all went wrong. I can't make things right with the Kase Kun like this. Are you going to give up? I'll be the teacher I aspire to be. That's the right way to, for me to make amends to the Kase Kun. From here on, I refuse to pay them any more money, and that is my answer. Well, what do you think? That's the right choice. You're right. You can't get the right answer from someone else. It can only be found from within. I learned that from you. In a way, you're my teacher. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. been so worried about making money that I haven't been paying attention to my students, especially to you. 
I averted my eyes from you because you were labeled, just like Takase kun was. But from now on, I'm willing to protect you too, as your teacher, and I will never betray you. That's reassuring. Leave it to me. I can be decisive when it counts. I'll speak with the Takases. I'm not going to run anymore. Everything should be fine as long as I talk to them face to face. Alright, it's time for me to go. Thanks. Thank you. See you later. Good night. Oh, is this Master? Thank you so much for today. Oh wait, I was supposed to stop working as Becky by today. To be honest, I always kind of knew in my heart I couldn't go on like this forever. But I felt so struck facing it alone. It's thanks to you that I actually figured out what I need to do. I'll do anything for you. Come on, you realize you can't feed me lines like that anymore. But I haven't given you any proper appreciation yet, so thank you. Really. Get to bed early tonight. Lack of sleep is basically poison for your body and mind, okay? Good night. Please come to the student's council guidance office. Crime boy Kun, please come to the student guidance office. Hey! Sound like Kamakami. I wonder what's up. Sorry. Sorry to pull you out of class, but it's about Takase Kun's guardians. I told them that I'm not going to pay them any more money. I'm quitting my part time job, too. Although, I'm still in talks with my boss about it. Although I'm still in talks with my boss about it, I'm going to devote myself to being a great teacher, no matter what others say. I won't waver. So, thank you for giving me such good advice. I just thought you should be the first to know. Ms. Kawakami, you have guests. The Takases are here. What? They're here? At school? How long are you going to make us wait? Him again? Um, yeah. You know it, lady. How rude. I guess the student is only as good as his teacher. Obviously, you lack a proper education. You thought you could just call and say you're not going to pay anymore? Who do you think you are? You know... It's what I decided, for Takase-kun's sake. I'm going to make sure there won't be any more students like him who... So you're just trying to get off of your responsibility? I bet you don't even care about Taiki. How are you still a teacher? Maybe we sh should really... Maybe you really should sue the Board of Education. Are you okay with that? A teacher who caused her student to die would surely cause a scandal. I'm not going to run or hide. I'm going to spend my time taking care of my students. If you want to take legal action, then go ahead. Regardless, I'll continue teaching. I've decided that th that's the best apology I can make to Takase Kun. Paying money to you two is not the solution, to say the least. Hmm. Along with suing you, maybe I should tell everyone about your little secret. You know, about your little stint as a sex worker. What? How did you... Oh? So I'm right, am I? What? I am the... Uh, I mean, the amount of money you're paying us can't come from just a teacher's salary. Well, shall we head on over to the faculty office? Stop, please. Ha, a teacher working in the sex industry. You've definitely done it this time. How unfortunate for you that you thought you could just leave Taki's... 
Taki, Taikis, whatever. Ta T, T, T boy, matter unsettled. You know what you have to do right now, right? Pay up. Don't ever call us again with this garbage about stopping the payments. <sighs> I guess I can't quit my part-time job just yet. You are so determined. I know. But what am I supposed to do? What about the Phantom Thieves? Would they even help someone like me? That's impossible. <laughs> can't do this anymore. What are their names again? Who? The Takaisais? Husband is Toshiro-san and his wife is Hirom Hiromi-san. I could never forget them. I send them money every week. Wait, why? You don't intend on doing any something, do you? Please don't. A Shujin teacher asking the Phantom Thieves for help would be I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I was so excited to tell you what I had decided, and then it ended up like this. Just forget everything, okay? If you think about it, I'll, I'm right back where I started. I guess I'll never be able to change. <laughs> Class is about to start. I need to go. <sighs> Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. I should bring a girl here. What? Girl? Does that mean you have a girlfriend? You should have mentioned sooner. I have missed the opportunity for a truly wonderful subject. That aside, I must thank you for your help today. This is the ideal location for my next motif. Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. <laughs> don't you don't you get excited? You'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart. Desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second sub aspect. The burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, I ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Ah, this angle. <laughs> Incredible. That bashful side profile. Those moist eyes. Their overflowing passion is wholly evident. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in all time, all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is the natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely, this is the truth of a human heart. <laughs> it will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next exhibition. Wait, now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial manners. Hey. Can you please remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. What the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations can bask in its glory. 
Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends in the art world of modern Adam and Eve. The legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? What? You're using us as models? Yes. A man and woman intimately swaying in the dingy of dreams. The dingy of dreams. The blush of their cheeks. The bashful looks. Us. Ah, yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Love? Uh, I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's famil familial love. This here's my sister. Uh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. I've always dreamed of going to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Though it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Familial? So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination. It seems my bias has caused me to overlook the ma truth of the matter. Hey look, love comes in all forms, buddy. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove now how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Mm. Romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh and discernible depending on one's point of view. Hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Reginald, I feel as though I've learned something today. Good for you, buddy. All right. Wait, so only couples write these things, right? That means those two. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Oh, tell me more. What are you talking? What are you talking about? Let us return home. Ah, well, come. It is about time we return home. Please row us back to shore, Reginald. See you. Reginald, thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love at all. Ah, though I've progressed at one, by one step, there is no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I tr fully understand the heart? Even if I ever do understand it, will I be truly be able to draw it? Don't get discouraged by me. You're right. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarsmanship from your end as well. Okay, thank you, I guess. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. Considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune, I've already charged with it's already charged with a happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Well, Goodbye. Ah, you're back. Ah, you're home. I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove on. I guess you start. Forgetting things more the older you get. Hey, hey. Last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid a hundred thousand yen for this holy... Ow! What the 
heck? Hey, can't you keep this thing a little cleaner? You can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the top, bottom of it. Wait, Reginald, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Hey, do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The, the stone shattered! What's gotten into you? Whoa! Huh? It, this tastes salty. Hey, the stone, holy stone is just salt. Mm -hmm. Reginald, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me, I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Mm. Mm. I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in that case, maybe the Holy Stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. <sighs> no, I don't think that's right. But, but if that's not it, then what's it for? Hold on a second. The Holy Stone was supposed to change your future, not improve your cooking skills. No way. So that Holy Stone was really just a phony stone in the end? That fortune teller's name was Chihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. Hey. We need to go complain to her. <sighs> Who could that be at this hour? Let's go somewhere tomorrow. I've been, we've been busy lately, so I want to be able to at, at least relax on Sunday. Let's go. To a place. Woohoo. All right. Hey. So I was thinking about the future. With you as the leader and me as your right hand man. Hey, don't meeting in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. And this is shady. Like, we're regular high school students during the day, but at night. You know what I mean? Man, this is getting me pumped. Man, the fishing ain't biting. Flo, it hasn't moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around, then we could steal their ideas. Whoa. Whoa, is that Kawakami? That's Kawakami, isn't it? What's she doing here? Oh, crap. She's coming this way. Jeez. Two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? But look who's talking. The adults need to need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Wow. Sounding real old there, Kawakami. That's Ms. Kawakami to you. For real? Holy crap. Kawakami could be our master fisher, Reginald. She's hooking fish like crazy. It's easy. Just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. So the trick is, the trick is not to think? How am I supposed to do that? Except the grim reality of society. I see. So when you get jaded like Kawakami, you'll just naturally attract, attract fish. Huh. I don't think that's right. <sighs> it's a nice sunny Sunday. I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. <sighs> two troublemakers and their no-good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa! So she's getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. She's the true master fisher. Once again, it's Ms. Kawakami. Wanna head back? Alright, let's, uh, this, this. 
proteins, and then some incense. Hey, hey. Um, let's do incense. Velvet room. I think I have some money to take. Oh, just gotta make sure. Time for some change your mind. Your turn, Caroline. I do. Okay, cool. Are you finished? What? No slacking off. Shut up. The conviction of a government is often tested during times of turmoil. However, the current administration refuses to discuss their plans for the future. Can we really accept such an utter lack of transparency? I've been hearing this type of criticism from the government a lot lately. That's because Diane Member Shido has been gaining popularity by saying the same thing. So he's just echoing another politician's criticism of the government? Apparently. Whatever. So first you stole party ideas. Party funds. And now you're stealing ideas, no good, Tora? Stop talking all big, you ex-convict. Hmm. It seems I've drawn the ire of the audience once again. So he's claiming those who have made mistakes in the past shouldn't get a second chance? What can I say to that? Just shut up and listen. What was that? You got nothing to s you got something to say to me, kid? Yeah, huh? What do you think? Well, what's up with this kid? So what if he's no good, Toro? Why you little punk? Yes, I am no good, Toro. And I have made mistakes. Yes, I am unpopular and powerless. But that has nothing to do with my arguments. There are things I learned from all of my hardships. Yes. You can ridicule me all you want, but I will continue to oppose what is wrong with this world. <sighs> Today's speech ended up being filled with a lot of passion. Quite unexpectedly, I might add. The highlight, though, was your yelling. I just spoke the truth. That's very promising. But don't overdo it. You should avoid making enemies whenever possible. Okay, that is all for today. You two are amazing. I have been wrong this whole time. Even though someone has failed in the past, it doesn't mean that person can't try again. That's all I wanted to say. You. Please wait. Thank you. Thank you. That is all I wanted to say. You're a strange one. Just like that kid. I learned something from your dauntless spirit today. I have a bad habit of getting flustered whenever someone calls me no good Torah. But you see me as someone of value, so I, I refuse to cower to criticism in front of you. <laughs> Today, you taught me that I must have more confidence in my arguments. My way of think thinking changed was with my yeah, my way of thinking changes, but I'm with you. Perhaps it's the influence of your youthful spirit. Ah, my apologies. It seems we're out of time. I shall ask you again another time. Ah, a 
Hello, thank you for all your hard work today. Thanks to you, I've remembered something very important. Now that I think about it, ever since the scandal, I've felt alone and helpless. Like the whole world was against me. Perhaps I got too used to, to the constant jugging, judging and critique. But I realized I've overlooked something crucial. I'd forgotten the people who support me. And how encouraging it feels simply to be in your, their presence. Perhaps it seems too oblivious or too trite, but I hope you remember to cherish that too. I will. Good. I'm glad to hear it. I will engrave it into my heart. I can't let myself forget it again. Well, I'll be counting on you for my speech too. For my next speech too. See you soon, Grand Bagsa. theme, love, it proved to be quite useful for me indeed. After our enlightening session, I once again attempted to paint. However, nothing I put on the canvas was to my satisfaction. Before the go gods of art, I am not but a lost sheep. Ah yes, lost sheep. I have come here with you for precisely that reason. Indeed. Our theme today shall be anguish. I shall paint the anguish Christ felt as he bore the sins of mankind. Hmm. I have seen various sculptures and paintings on the matter, but merely replicating them will not do. Would any believers be willing to model and help me capture the true essence of anguish? It seems not. Well then. Very well. Reginald, you will have to be my model today. Do you want me to strip? Oh, yes, that would must be it. That is what I need. Only a subject naked as the day they were born can convey the true anguish of birth. Now then, strip! Take it all! Actually, perhaps not. Being found stark naked in a church would be even bigger news than the Phantom Thieves. Now then, let us begin. Show me a pose that will put the anguish of Christ on full display. Mm, I see. So this would be... No, perhaps... <sighs> it seems this is not working. I would like to capture anguish, yet you remain calm and composed. Even the slightest wrinkle can change one's impression of things. I shall not compromise even for the sketch. No. Now raise your hands higher. More! Give me more anguish! Bring it to its upper limits. Like this! <clears throat> oh, this position. Is this the passion of Christ? Forsaken by his disciples, covered as his bed, a criminal by the public, pierced with nails and hung on the cross. I understand now. <laughs> this is the true anguish of, my, of the passion. It feels as though something is boiling up within me. What are you children doing? Uh, ah. This is an art study. Art? That? I am attempting to paint anguish, so I decided to use the crucifixion of Christ as a point of reference. 
So you're interested in the anguish of the crucifixion? Hmm. Well, it is true that Jesus' crucifixion on the cross is a symbol of deep suffering. It also bears a much more positive message. One of resurrection. Of forgiveness. Resurrection? Forgiveness? I'm not sure I understand. Those ideas are contradictory to my conception of English. It may be difficult to grasp what I'm saying right now, but try to consider that the anguish one may feel today will someday bring forth new hope. Ah, and by the way, I, I suggest you contain your excitement while here. You may trouble the congregation. So those shocking depictions were actually meant to represent forgiveness, not pain. Mm. Hope from anguish. I'm not sure I understand. I must learn more about the hearts of men. Reginald, do you think I will be able to capture the truth someday? I'm sure you will. Indeed. If I do not have belief in my own abilities, I will never have to accomplish any. I will never come to accomplish anything. Hmm. This is exceedingly strange, though. Spending time with you has helped me discover new aspects of myself. You are perhaps a mirror of sorts. I'm in your debt. If there is anything I can do in return, let please let me know. I wish to repay your kindness. All right. Hmm. Let us return home for today. I bid you farewell. Farewell! Wonderful. See you. What a character. Apologies for this call. Can I talk to you about something? The crucifixion supposedly symbolizes resurrection, forgiveness, and hope. I could not grasp those connections. Once again, I made the same mistake of picking up on, on only the superficial meaning. The more I think about it, the further I seem to be from understanding the abyss of the heart. Hmm. Well, there's still hope. Ah, so my anguish is what leads me to my hope. It's exactly what I learned earlier today. Thank you, Legend. And perhaps what I need is a change of perspective. I still have a tough road ahead, but talking to you gave me some relief. Truly, I'm truly fortunate to have you by my side. I'll see you later. Kanashiro got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. You think he, we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean we, he might not have a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did. That is not the issue. Despite Kanashiro's change, this organization remains intact. I can only hope they don't abscond, abscond, abscond the photographs. Sure. You mean like run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of a group. This is merely common knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some. Groups that lack a strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do now is pray the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kanoshiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That power will be up to Mikoto Sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. Now that remain, all that remains now is to wait until the result becomes clear. Yo. Yo. Hey. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's time to give this girl a piece of my mind.
Um, how are you healing? I I'm fine. It's my fault, anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want to hit me, but I just make him sound... But I just make him so mad. I suggest you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? Yes, I, I've seen everything. Mm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it'll bring it with a great misery. But what kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for se severe injuries suffering suffered in a domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have y let Yuya throw my holy stone away. He said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock. That I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? What? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay in, pay in up to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Huya. Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a boy holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right. It would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chihaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Reginald, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Meowing? Mm. What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know? not good to scam people. I don't appreciate your accusation. The thing you is... see, some fates in this world are simply un inescapable. The demon within your demon's boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you brought another, bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Uh, his full name is Yuya Ichimura. Do you... Why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? <sighs> yes! Well, what do you expect to change with that meager information? Eh, you'll see. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I trust you. G Excuse me? It feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya was, has all my money. He's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I would rather put my trust in this one boy than in 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You. What do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain judge punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she will meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change her destiny, go ahead and try. 
But once you rea realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. Are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. Good is morning. It's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashiro's deadline is in is this weekend, isn't it? This change of heart draws near. Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. It's gonna get busy. True. This is true. With the added retention, we may receive more requests on that message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have the chance. This really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently, this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cam cameras. I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. You're very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here for myself, though. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that, but it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. <sighs> Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any shooting students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... That was dangerous. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was going to have to knock him out. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. Hmm. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks again. Seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. Side. Even though there is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then. Hmm? Huh? That was... Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is he... Why is she here? The after-school salon? What kind of place is that? Hmm. Not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too, as my witness. Would that be okay? Well, you spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then.
Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a barker. I didn't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Do not agree more? Honestly, I've realized I can't solve these ish these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that shooting student we saw there. It'd be great if you can help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. This is a training area. This is what you used to train? That's rather different from how I imagined it. Indeed. I imagine the equipment here has having more spikes and chains. Hey, inmate, what's that? It's for upper body workouts. Is that so? Then let us see it in action. Ha! By lifting the weight, you strengthen your arm and chest muscles. But that isn't nearly enough for a real workout. You should increase the weight. We will assist you with that. <laughs> now you can train to your heart's content. Don't play with the equipment. Deadly serious right now. I'm insulted you would think otherwise. Well, it appears you we've found the limit for your pathetic arms. Now, what's that over there? Another body training device? Demonstrate its use for us. Ah, I see. You run on it to improve your stamina and strengthen your legs. Marvelous. What a fascinating contraption. Perhaps we should bring one to our room. We should for we could force the imprisoned personas to run on it. Ha! <laughs> Not a bad idea. By the way, what does this button do? Out of breath already. You still have quite a ways to go. Okay. All right, on to the next one. What is this bizarre object? Is that yet another tool for training? Hey, you interested in the wooden dummy? Hmm. Normally I'd say it's not for beginners, but I did just see you really sweating it out, so... Here, I'll show you how to use it. Your footwork's sloppy, inmate. Inmate. Focus more clearly. Concentrate the power in your strikes. Was that really all? You can even defeat a stationary wooden post. Were you to try, it would be obliterate. Were we to try, it would be obliterated almost immediately. I, I was holding back. So you were holding back, so as not to destroy it. I see. If the purpose is to simply polish your technique, then there's no reason to destroy it. Hmm. As far as physical training goes, this place leaves much to be desired. But uh, it is admittedly sufficient for your rehabilitation. Here's your award. Pupil. Okay, yeah, I have pupil one card. It's been said that a sound mind requires a healthy body. Don't complain. This has been yet another step. This has been yet another step towards your rehabilitation. Keep training yourself just as diligently, inmate.
All right, all right. Put it off long enough. Let's do our stupid chores. How gloomy. Listen up. I agree. I'm on board. Listen up. Sure. Listen up. <sighs> Very well. Listen up. Okay. Very well. Listen up. What a jerk. You can count. Nice. Listen up. <laughs> nice. Listen up. Come on. <sighs> Oh, and sure, look, yes, yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All right, I'm gonna bust loose. Good for you, buddy. Like we can go further down now. It's because we made Madarame's palace disappear, right? Most likely, I think. You seem rather uncertain. How far does this mementos run, anyway? Uh, it's huge, extremely. You're always so vague when it comes to the important stuff. It's like he's kind of flaky as our chief of operations. Don't you want him to try a bit harder, too? Cat does good. You didn't have to add that cat part. There, there. I don't fully understand, but mementos and the palaces are related to each other, correct? Then all we must do is continue changing the hearts of evildoers to ascertain its full expanse. I don't believe there's a need to quarrel over it. Yes, I need my, my persona back. At least I think I can do it. Oh. Your turn, Caroline. Taking it out already? Looks even stronger now. You want to let it out? Cool. Resist rage. There's no reason to grab this. Her. Are you finished? What? No slacking off. All right. Preceding area. Okay. Man must be Ono. Let's stop him before he gets any more trouble with the others. Oh, what the hell? Who the hell are you? You have some problem with me? With me? Here's the Ono. Come on. That's the first thing out of his mouth. It seems like this is the old guy who's making trouble with Kichiyauji. Nice. Nice. I can tell you're annoyed even with your masks on. That shows how interesting you are to me. I don't know. Right? Right? How unsightly. Certainly disturbed. 
Let's end this joker. Get mad, look at me. Hide on you. Okay. Sure, but Started with something small. Whenever I do something stupid, my family would worry about me. My son all usually treats me like I'm worthless, but he would care for me in those times. There's no other way. It felt so good that I wanted that started seeking that kind of perfection everywhere. I ended up causing so much trouble. Hmm. An unfortunate consequence of isolation. Yeah, sorry. I have caused so much trouble. What can I suppose? To well, how am I supposed to live like this? Apologizing? Apologize? It's too late for I that. So no, the important thing is to make start making up for it. That's true. I'm certain there's that's what your family wishes as well. And from now on, instead of taking it out on others, you should communicate your needs directly to your family. Tell them that you're lonely before it's too late. Let me make it up to yeah, you. Yeah, I'll do it.
listen. Think you can blame me for what I've done? <laughs> it's a doggy dog world, moron. Didn't you hear? Might makes right. What was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. blackmail. Ooh, crazy. Gotcha. Persona, go down. All right, Queen. Beautifully done. Persona, take that. Persona. 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 Close up. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm <sighs> Why don't you just admit you're lost? You're acting like kind of pathetic right now. Yes, I am. I know I am. All right, now it's time for you to get eat. The strong eat the weak or something, right? When I'm done with you, there's gonna be nothing left but bone. You ready? Please forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kidding. You don't gotta say sorry to us. Go apologize to who you really need to apologize to. Okay. Cool. I guess. Use Black Frost, yo! Huge. Absolutely huge. And let's increase his chance of inflicting ailments during rain and snow. Go to the higher area. Oh, well. I guess we can go up to the alarm. Do you need something? Rehabilitation there is an alarm. One of my favorite again searching. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. A group will be executed. Choose wisely. Well, this is its powered up form. become an even more powerful accessory.
This is an alarm fusion. Compare everybody. Yeah, Tamlin's kind of useless. Begin searching. It is neither remarkable nor unremarkable. Choose which skills to inherit. Choose which skills to inherit. <sighs> I cannot expect any both of you to work. Registration, yes? You wish to register it to the compendium? Are you certain? This is the path you have walked. Uh, da, 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 da. This is the one? This persona, correct? So many people with psychic. Get me Isis back. I will require the take it then. How rude. Okay, I'm gonna look up. Could get Perseus King. I guess I'll just go for our son's king just for now. This one's Take a look. Unless there's a Hold any more personas. Okay. Finished already? What? Hmm. 
Now, let us observe. You wish to view the compend? This is the path you have walked. This you wish to summon? This is calm down. Alarm time! This is its powered up form. This weapon will be stronger than normal. Ah, so this is your intent. This will be its new form. Is that acceptable? Assume your new form. Oh my god, it failed? I thought you could do an electric chair and a... And a fusion. Oh my god. Really? Cool. Fantastic. Okay. Glad I did that. I doing? Holdups are a good strategy. Let's keep using them. Allow me, Joker. I will take no.
Seek cowhide. I see the platform. Should we keep going?
hear people whispering. You can't ignore your senses like that. There may be something here. This is horrible. Leveled up.
I'll show you. I suppose... something. Pursue rehabilitation with all your body A and long soul. Time. Prepare for the... Get ready for this. <laughs> Done already, Justine? This one's all... This is the path you have walked. Okay. Yeah. This is you cannot you cannot hold. How rude. Finished already? What? Take a look. This persona, I will require the proper... Take it then. 
There is an alarm. This is its powered up form. This weapon is more powerful than oh normal. Oh my gosh, it took my black Kukatana. You're stopping? Great. And faster. Hmm. Alarm time and always strive for more. Gotta get a top tier protector. It's not good. Not that good. Is this pretty good now? For right now? You shall be reborn. What else am I gonna do? I should write something. drink that just came out? It's pretty good. Uh, there are too many drinks. Oh! Yeah. Could be useful. Focus. Yo!
little twit. to try this skill soon. I wish this would stop. for me. Oh, the platform. We can 
can go further down from here, yes? Pursue rehabilitation with all your body there and soul. There is an alarm in effect. This is its powered up form. The resulting card may be different than usual. Done already? Finished already? What? You've got guts. Oh. Oops. Pursue rehabilitation you with wish all to your take body and soul. You wish to see this? How rude. There is an alarm in a fist. Is it powered up for? Gotta get a top tier protector! This will perhaps this is a bit excessive. You're stopping? Finished already? What? Why don't we open it? Okay. I have something. 
feeling great. Let's grab lots of loot today. When you're feeling good, it... Fine, fine, just say. Did you try the new drink that just came out? It's pretty good. So water in the I see the plot. Where the hell is Joe's there? Did he take that day off? Joker, just... Yay. This here is pitch black. Hey, that's a rare shadow. Don't let it escape. Hey, that's a rare... Weak to nuclear moves. But then there's a good Persona! Persona! Charge, Johanna! Knock down, Queen! 
something on the body you do that and you're not getting in next time Pursue rehabilitation you with wish all to view your the body and soul. Okay. Third time's the charm. This you wish to summon. This calm down. There is an alarm. This is its powered up form. This weapon. This will be its new form. Assume your new form. There. You're stopping? Finished already? What? Alright. 
Do you need something? Lovers, faith. Lovers, faith, temperance, fortune. Already? What? So I have fortune, I have priestess, if star. <sighs> hey, temperance, faith, lover. Time for some re They will be reborn anew. <laughs> this I shall know. into a new form. This shall be the result. It seems Behold, it's this may prove somewhat extreme. Oh, I didn't, didn't realize that was Okay. You change your mind? Justine. Do oh, are you finished? What? Okay, so. are the paths you have walked. If you withdraw this persona, then accept this persona. Don't need, uh, don't need justice quite yet. Fortune, Mary, cloth This person will withdraw this. This is your power. Star. Faith. This person is. This is your power. Are you finished? What? It is time, inmate. Yeah, a new post about that old man who was stirring up trouble in Kyojiko. Kijiyoshi, that one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like he and his son went around apologizing to everyone in Harmony Valley. It was like he was a totally different person, begging them on his knees for forgiveness and all. Glad it worked out. Yeah, the people in town are probably thinking the same thing. Great job. Hmm. All right. Get out. Get out. Please. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. today. Konoshiro's deadline is drawing near. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. You're fine. 
As expected from someone who's been through this three times already. If you say so, then. Yes, I'm sure it'll go well. Yep, it's... This is it. Sorry for dragging you out here. I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wanting to come here for a while, but I never had the chance to drop by. Looking to boy? Yeah, I want to give m my dad a present. You seem like a real you seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted to get your advice. Could you try to cut on a couple pairs for me? I like to get some visual reference. Thank you so much! Let's see. How about this pair? I think that's good. Those really look cool. Those really work for you. You look so cool. What do you think? Pretty modern look. I know. It's so fashionable. And it's good that it will help you. It helped your vision, too. This could be a good one. Hmm. Do they suit your dad, though? Hmm, right. Maybe a little too hip for my dad. But your input's been really helpful so far. Would you mind help poking around with me for a bit longer? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm still here. I'm counting on you. This is actually kind of fun. Let's pick the pace. Let's pick up the pace. I see. Wow, you look like a salesman. But it doesn't feel right somehow. Those definitely leave an impression. Heck, people may remember the glasses and nothing else about you. I knew it! You're like a star right out of Hollywood. But if my dad wore them, he might look a little shady. This is... Why are those even here? I kind of want a pair. Mm. Sorry, I can't decide. A lot of them are good, but none of them really clenched it for me yet. Uh, hey, don't overthink it. You know, you're right. I'm the one who has to make this call. I'm just going off with gut feeling, but I'll pick this pair. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems different for my dad somehow. It seems perfect for my dad somehow. Good choice. Then it's set. Yes, I think I can be confident in this one. In fact, I know he'll like it. Thank you for bringing me here. I ended up with a great present. All thanks to you, Crime Boy Senpai. Goodbye, deal. Then I'll have to make it worth your time, Senpai. Let's go practice at Anna Cashier Park after this. Well... If I'm being honest, trying to pick out glasses was really setting off my anxiety. If I could think of... If I, all I could think of was I what happened if I didn't choose, or if I chose wrong. I mean, I already failed in gymnastics. My cooking turned out bad, too. After cracking under pressure so many times, I kind of figured I'd just ruin everything again. The more I thought about it, the more 
empty, I felt. Like, I wasn't me anymore. And everyone deals with that. So even you know how it feels, Crime Boy Senpai? It's not just me. Senpai? I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me. It's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off. But maybe finding out who I really am is also about finding new depths of myself. It does make me feel a little down, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. And having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. We'll work on it together. <laughs> this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance, but it's like I'd be doing it for you as much as for myself. Or something like that. <laughs> he, he, hoo hoo. I'm still working on myself, but I hope we can keep helping each other too. <laughs> All right. The hook. Now, we should get, get to training. Maybe we can try some intermediate levels exercises to get to, 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 to gay. Gay to, to gay. All right. I'll be heading home now. Hello, cry boy senpai. Are you able to talk right now? So I already gave my dad the glasses we picked out today. And it suits him even better than I imagined. He was so happy with them. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. I think this helped me feel a little more confident. And thanks to you, I even feel like my gymnastics are going to go better now. Are going to go better now. I'm sick of wasting my time worrying. So whatever I'm up against, I'm just gonna give it my best shot. But actions always speak louder than words, right? I'll prove them. I'll prove I'm not all talk. Okay, I hope I better go. I hope we can talk again later. Ah, you're back. Hey. Hey, hey. Let's hear it. Please, sit down. G goodness gracious! Her boyfriend stopped abusing her? I don't believe it. But even if he did stop, her fate should still be heading down the path to misery without changing. I mean, look! of Arcana has completely changed. Death has moved far off into the future. Hearts can be changed. No, no, no! This must be some sort of trick. What are you, a scam artist? You made a deal with her boyfriend or something, didn't you? I didn't make any deal. Then what did you do? Did you plunge him into Tokyo Bay? Or cram him into a metal drum and dump insects on him? You must have taken some sort of extreme measures. I'm just an ordinary student. Well, you certainly do seem ordinary. Yes, quite ordinary indeed. But there's no way that could have happened without you breaking the law. I mean, 
How can an ordinary high school student change the course of fate? Fine. I'm just going to have to verify your power. The very power that reversed my tarot card prediction. This is quite a serious situation for a fortune teller like me. I need to get to the bottom of this. You won't have to do anything. Just sit next to me while I tell fortunes. And if another unopposable fate happens to appear, then I'll test your power. I get nothing out of this. Well, that may be true. Oh, I know. I'll read your fortune. Please? I'll even prioritize your readings over my regular customers. Besides, I'll be able to provide much more accurate predictions once I get to know you better. How does that sound? Is it a deal? Hmm. Otherwise, I won't be able to go on. Please, I beg you. I need to know if fate truly can be changed. Alright, I guess. You will? Really? Okay then. I look forward to verifying your skills. Please don't blow me off, okay? We made a deal after all. Unless you were lucky, there's no way you could have repeatedly done so many crimes. Or perhaps you had someone you consulted who gave you precise advice. You're not getting away this time with just luck. I it shall be the birth of the fourth. All right. Is fate really something that can be changed? If it's really possible, then... Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. Let's close up shop for today. It's past your curfew. Um... Crying boy song? Huh. Forgot to get your in contact info. There we go. I'll be contacting you soon, so please come for the verification test, okay? I suggest you don't try to get out of it, or else who knows what kind of black magic I'll have to resort to. I'll be there. Yay! Great! Now our deal is official. Sorry for m taking up so much of your time. Please be careful on your way Until home. Until next time! another confidant that I'm just like, eh. I want to see, you know, mm -hmm. it have a good mm -hmm. ending, because it's not necessarily a terribly great ending.
should be grateful. I guess that's fine. Uh, come again. like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepes today. I have the worst luck. Oh, an email. Hmm? Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they want. Huh? Mika? Uh, that sky tree? Where's that? Um. They want me to head over to a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on her recent popularity. But apparently, she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. I wonder why. She admires you. Huh? Out. So you think what she said earlier was the truth? Hold on, though. Why would you trick someone to you admire? Well, I guess I don't, won't know what she wants until I, unless I head over. Hey! Have you been to Skytree before? How do you get there? Let's go! Oh, uh, and, uh, can you come with me? Anyway, actually, I've already decided for you. You're going. Come on! Mika. Oh, so you came for my special. You asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognize you. Mm -hmm. Did you lose weight? Maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot is the elegance of women. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? What do you mean? Controlling what you eat. How you move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write some down everything you eat, making sure to check the nutritional and caloric diet content. I even hired a personal trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Wow. That's amazing. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? Of course I don't! I get fat with just one bite of that stuff! Not to mention the other stuff I do. I take herbal medication, warm, warm, wear warming socks, do pilates and yoga. Day after day, how many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh, a natural body like you can never understand how much work I put into my modeling. <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was a natural airhead. What did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? Eek, on senpai, stop it! You're scaring me! Mika-chan, are you okay? Man, cat fights are scary. Urgh. This way, Mika-chan. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm looking for. Wonderful, wonderful. I see now. This is a test. Yes! Well, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> um, Anchan, could you try being a little sexier? You mean like this? Oh, that's beautiful. Wait! Mika, why, why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that was a lie. But I guess you're just as na naive as you look. Anyway, stupid amateurs like you really piss me off. You better not drag me down, okay? Oh, you're amazing, Mika-chan. Ooh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
the owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy. Um... I'm heading home. Hmm. Why didn't Mika ask for me? So she could show you up. I see. Then she was just trying to be mean. If that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. This is... these are both terrible answers. Please don't cry. I'm... I'm so pissed off! Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, watched her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a different, totally different level for me. Mika is amazing. Mika is, Mika is strong. But me, I'm nothing. Just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I'm gonna, I could explode. This whole time I've just been pretending to model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. But I was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear and casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, I've had enough pretending. I want to be a real model. Go get him, tiger. Right? I'll give it my all. Yes! I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch, Reginald. Alright. Uh. I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets. But no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me, Reginald. Bye. Cool. I guess. Reginald, it's me. I've been pissed since I left. I can't t help it. Well, I'll say it again. I'm taking the modeling world by storm and I don't care what I have to do to get there. Obviously, that means dieting, cutting back on food, and no matter how tough it is, I'll do any workout. You got this. I'm supportive. Wahoo, you want me to be supportive, so I'll be supportive. Yep, I'm so sick of feeling how I did today. This is the first, this is a first for me actually. Feeling this pissed off, I mean. Usually, even if I had a crappy day, I just get over it by having snacks, watching TV, and sleeping it off. But this time, it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. Okay, start, gotta start my stretching session. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Alrighty. Ah, you're back. Deadline's tomorrow. We gonna be okay? The pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. That is, if we're able to trust what Kanashiro said. Don't say such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. He can still end up released from police custody. For real? That is, unless they have decisive benefits and evidence like a confession. It'll be fine. True. There does seem to be some movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance that the police have found their, their breakthrough. Ooh, does that mean it happened? The timing is perfect. I guess that's. let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. Good for you.
shall we do? Something believable, just unbelievable just happened. I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There's other stuff I want to ask you about too. You'll request me today, right? Hey! Thanks. Hey there! I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. The Kasekun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to spend any more money, and that they'll return everything I paid them. It's like they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamashita. Hey, you wouldn't be, um... Anyway, it's such a relief. They apologized about Takase-kun, and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I was a good teacher. And so I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been ta talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who would cover my shifts, but I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well... Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can trust, I can take care of my students and earn their trust. That's the ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. Psh, nonsense. Yeah, you're right. I'm still within a demographic age range of what's considered young. I was always able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you were such a good listener. Thanks again. Oh crap! Thank you for using our service! Today marks the day I graduate from being your maid. Man, what a bummer. <laughs> Could always become your personal maid, right? Yeah, just kidding. going to do once I stop coming here. Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm really I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. I feel like you didn't don't put much thought into your diet either. Besides, won't you be lonely? Hmm? Ugh. Keep I take it you get lonely easily. But you shouldn't say stuff like that so casually, okay? Someone may misunderstand your in intentions. You don't want to give anybody the wrong idea that could really hurt someone. Got it. That was pretty honest of you. You're quite the problem child, but you're still a good person. I'll protect you as your homeroom teacher. Oh, and of course, I'll keep my initial promise too, the one about slacking off in class. See you later. Hi, thanks for today. On my way home, I remembered everything, all the 
old memories from when I decided to become a teacher. Like when I was going through the teach courses for it or my first year as a teacher. Back then I would have done anything for my students. I felt like I was capable of anything. But somewhere along the way I forgot about all that. Reigniting your original resolve is easier said than done. You can do it. Thanks. Somehow, even somehow, when I hear it from you, it makes me feel like I can do anything. Weird, huh? From now on, I'll support you as your teacher, so you can rely on me as much as you want, okay? That's all I wanted to say. Okay, I'll see you at school. Good night. They looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junior Kanashiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Damn it. Sir? Hey! She really looks so tired. I talked to her this morning about my future and she was super polite. Friendly even. Yeah, I know what you mean. She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Yes. Now she's back on her feet. Kawakami seems to be working hard as a teacher. Shiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there is a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine. No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but... Do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi! 
Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? A oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too. By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. What's wrong? Hello. I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Take that, you stupid Hey, we're not done Again. here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Eggs and shambles. I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. Ah, you're back. Where things go? You seem to be keeping on the straight and narrow so far, huh? 
that doesn't mean you can just slack off with summer on the horizon. Got it? This reaction is incredible. I'm honestly shocked to see it. It is only natural that people are surprised. Even the police were struggling to catch him. Yeah, by the way, you said you were called in by the principal? Did something happen? It was regarding my investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamashita. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him I was unable to find any information. Are you, are you going to be okay? I will. I've graduated from my role as the exemplary honor student. From now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. What are you going to do now? Want to stay with the finished thieves? That's my intention. Assuming it wouldn't be any trouble. Welcome aboard. It'd actually be a big problem if you don't if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It would be greatly convenient. Well then, now if I can continue getting along with all of you. An advisor, huh? This new teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. Alright. That is it for the night. I should write something. 